nobody would get up one day and said oh my profession i want to be a maid like is that person stupid you know nobody would get up and say i want to be a maid i want to work for somebody i want to clean i want to be a cleaner i want to be it is a condition it is a circumstance it's life life happens nobody we plan for good things but if life guys welcome to my channel if you are new here welcome i'm monica the ghanian youtuber working here in kuwait so if you are new here you are welcome thank you so much for clicking please if you haven't subscribed kindly subscribe to my channel if you are a returning subscriber you know i love you thank you all so much for always i don't know why i'm not getting my energy but you guys i'm so angry right <laughs> oh let me put this camera back a bit you guys i'm so angry i'm so angry i'm so pissed because my madam is not being fair to me at all you guys she's not being fair and i'm really hurt for the past one week now please disclaimer i beg you I beg you, I'm only here on this YouTube channel, this YouTube street, posting my life experience working here in Kuwait. I beg you, I'm not here to paint this country black on YouTube. I'm not here to say negative things about Kuwait on YouTube, on my YouTube channel. This is my personal life. This is me documenting my life working here as a maid in Kuwait. So, yeah, that is just by the way. <laughs> so, you guys, you all know that I've been, we were two working here, Ria and I, but she left for the Philippines. Ria left almost two months. It's not even almost two months. It's two months exactly. It's two months and some weeks she left. And... I've been alone for the past almost two months. We only got somebody, we've, we've had like three cadamers come and go. Nobody is staying because all they say is the work is too much. They can't do the work, the cleaning, the building, the house is big, the work is too much, they can't take it. So she was the only one who stayed for two weeks. And guys, I've been working here alone for two months now, thinking that my madam will add something to my salary. But no. You know, some people are very heartless and very um, ungrateful, I must say, because I do my work perfectly. I do everything in this house i clean we have the first floor the ground floor we have the underground floor we have the second floor and the, the fourth floor which is where i iron i wash and all of that i iron and this house the ironing is too much like ironing is a lot here in this house Ironing alone is one person's job a day. But no, I iron, I wash, I clean all the rooms. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven rooms. And the hall is not even part of it. Guys, I clean. I never complained. I do everything perfect. She has no problem with my work. I'm someone that when I'm working with you, I work with my whole heart because I do things that I wish somebody would do for me. Me ya dia, me ya ubibe ya mami. So I do my things right. Me, I don't do my work anyhow, anyhow. I do it exactly how i want somebody to work for me that is me i don't complain i do everything like assuming we are two 
working. I go to sleep. I wake up early. If the kids have school, I wake up early. At 5.30, prepare their breakfast, prepare their lunchbox, prepare her make for, for him to dress up. If you don't start with him, he can't dress up anymore. I have to be with him to dress up, to make sure he's doing it right. For the girl, I have no problem. She takes care of herself, but I have to make sure she's awake on time. We do this, prepare them for school, they leave for school. I sleep for how many hours? Get up again, continue with my work. I do all these things without complaining. Even when I was sick, I was trying my best to work. I do everything right, everything perfect for her to know that I'm dedicated to my work. I don't want her to have any kind of headache because we are not to working i try to do everything balance monica the, the grown-up up wake me up at this time wake me up at this time i set alarm for everyone when it's time to wake this person up i will wake the person up like i do everything like exactly like we are two in this house but what did i get in return Like, it's not being fair. Like, somebody is working for you. You don't expect the person to tell you that. Add something to my salary. Or give me another extra money. Like, you are, you are, you are, you are a mother. You should feel it. Hamid will come back from school. When he have English homework, I help him out. All these things, I do it alone one person in this whole house like without complaining i don't show any attitude that i you see i'm tired yes it draws on my face i'm tired but i don't complain and somebody came here two weeks they had an issue that she, she has to pay 140 a month and then the girl said no I am after two weeks she have to pay her back and she have to pay her half of her salary and they had their discussion and the girl said no it's supposed to be 140 you have to pay me a month and she said no she didn't have that agreement with the um, um, office that she has to pay her 140 so she's going to pay her 140 and this girl said no if you are not paying me 140 then I'm not doing the work again, I will leave her. And she left. But she left two weeks is how much 70 KD. Just two weeks. What did she do? She's new, she don't know the system of her house. I have to take her through every part, everything. Whatever she does, I do it with her so that she will know how things have run up in this house. I practically does everything with her. So what did she do? You still paid her 70 KD for two weeks. So what will happen if you take like 10 KD and add to my salary for that two months? It will be just 20 KD out of 70 KD that you paid for her for two weeks she spent with us. Like I don't know why like these people, if you are a hard worker, you are dedicated to your work you are truthful to them they treat you they don't treat you right you respect them you you obey every rules given to you like you obey them in everything you do your work deliberately and they just don't show you kindness like i don't know so what exactly that you find somebody working with you with full like you know truthfulness working with you showing you kindness like doing everything possible to make sure even you yourself your life is easier and you don't try to be grateful to the person just by adding a little money to the person's salary like should i wait to tell you before you know that you have to increase my salary or something like i don't get it and me, I'm somebody that I don't force things. I, I don't force things. Like, I want, if you are helping me or you are doing something for me, you do it 
with your heart like mutra I, I don't want to force you to do something for me i want you to do it willingly from your heart that is who i am i don't force people into my life if you want how i am you come closer to me if you don't want me you stay away like that is me i don't force things in my life i don't force people into my life and i don't force people to do things for me so I just decided one day and I was like, since this girl left and I said, wow, is this how like this woman is like, really? I try to do everything. Like I, I do everything. I'm, I'm good to her. Like I don't complain anything. Tali mini, tali hada, jibi hada, kebi hada mini. Like all, like all the tossing, tossing around. I do it without even complaining. But yet she's not showing me kindness. And it's like, I said, wow, so this time around, I just decide that I'm not going to kill myself anymore. Like, I will do things that my energy can carry. I won't do things above my energy. At the end of the day, I will go and sleep. I'm the one who will feel pains all over my body. Really, I'm not going to stress myself anymore like how I used to since we are gone. So, I found oh, I'm just pained and I just came here to talk to you guys to just take off this pain because even my reaction, everything about like me, I'm a silent one. I don't talk because when I say I want to talk, it will be a disaster. So I don't talk when I'm angry or I only react and you know that I'm hurt. Even herself, she knows that I'm hurt. Without even telling her, she knows that I'm hurt. She know. She even she feel guilty. Honestly, she she still even feel that she don't have her house. There is no work in her house. Like there is no work. <laughs> At times it's even funny. Like it's even funny. I don't I don't know why. Like these people, they are hurt. They are pained when they are trying to bring out money to help their worker like someone working under you someone who is helping you out in your house like they feel pained to add money to their salary like i don't get it not that the money you don't have it you have it this person is helping you this person is making your life easier for you and yet to increase their salary is a problem the kind of work like we do in this country is not the kind of money they are being paying that they are paying they are paying us and it's so painful it's so painful that oh god i don't even know what i'm saying but i'm really hurt but all right when the time is up i will just go you know the more you will say it they will start showing you kind of attitude and for me i don't want that because if you show me that attitude, <laughs> it will bore me more and my reaction will be disastrous. So it's better I shut up. So that is how I am. I won't say it and you start giving me attitude because even if you say it, she will start adding an, an extra work to you. Even if there is no work, she will, add, she will make sure she will give you something to do because she has added something to your salary. And it's so oh, ridiculous. I know that most of us out there are struggling with all these things, you know, working with them for years and they don't want to increase your salary and all of that. Like, it's so painful. It's so, so painful. Like, everybody deserves, um, I don't even know how to put the words, but everyone deserves to be um, appreciated, you know. If your work is encouraging you are putting effort in anywhere you are working you need you deserve to be appreciated that is by increasing your salary or something like that or putting you on a higher position in any work that you are doing you get what i mean but if you are trying your best doing stuff trying your best fixing things up making sure that things are being right and you are not being appreciated it's so painful it's very very painful and i just want to encourage my co-workers that you know this work is very hard it's very hard honestly and 
whatever we do, we do it deeply from our hearts. We work with them deeply from our hearts. And yet, they are not trying to show us kindness. At the end of the day, if you voice out the kind of reaction they will give to you, if you are not a, a if you are not a patient person, it's going to cause a whole lot of trouble for you. So all I would say is just be patient and be content with what you have and just have patience to gather the little that you want to gather. And when it's time for you to go, you, you leave. You know, these are the people that when they have good people around them, they don't maintain them. And once they leave, your house you can never get a replacement you can never get a replacement of them because they are hard to find they are hard finding a good person in your house working for you taking care of your kids a truthful person working for you doing their work right even if you are around or you are not around they are doing their work so perfectly without you having any complaint and you don't treat them right once they leave your life they leave your house there is no way you are going to get a replacement and so you know yeah i just want to just come here and just pour out my heart out to you guys i don't want anybody to come in the comment section and come and tell me like my my previous video somebody was saying hey why did you come to kuwait and come and work here in kuwait is kuwait also a country like nobody wished to be a kadama like nobody would get up one day and said oh my profession i want to be a maid like is that person stupid you know if 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 life become hard for you you have no option than to go for what is on the table you get what i mean so nobody wished to be a nanny to be a housekeeper to be a houseboy to be a house girl it is life this is what life has given so you have to grab what is giving you now and make a good use out of it so if you're a kadama i want to tell you that the little you are being given make sure you make a good use of it so that one day you are definitely going to live here you won't work here forever and ever this is not your destination this is not where you are destined to so you get the little you have get up and do something else for your life you need a change you need another level so you make sure you get the little you want make sure you grab it now that you still have the energy to do it do it get whatever you want and go and start your life afresh again this is not your destiny this is not something you are destined to come and do so this is my little advice that i have for you be patient be kind even no matter so this is just my little advice and me coming here to share with you guys my pain i agree but i've controlled myself my reaction speaks but i've controlled my lips and i've controlled my tongue not to say things for her she's a human being she have conscience so i always say if anybody does something to hurt me i cry over it and i i forgive and i let it go and i only say that like let your conscience deal with you fight with your conscience that is me so yeah thank you all so much for watching and i hope you do enjoy this video please if you haven't subscribed to my channel kindly subscribe i know i've not been too um consistent on this channel i know but it is not my fault i'm trying you guys i'm trying so hard i will try and fix create content but to edit and to post is a difficult work for me to do like that time i feel i need that time to rest i feel i need that time to for myself and all of that so posting is kind of hard for me but i will try i'm trying okay so please try to subscribe to my channel if you haven't it's been so long i visited my yt studio 
but i did that recently and i got to notice that most of you watch my videos but those who watch my videos are the ones who haven't subscribed to my channel like like why why <laughs> So please subscribe to my channel it doesn't cost much to subscribe like really please subscribe to my channel turn on the bell icon down there so that you'll be notified whenever i post a new video give this video a thumbs up okay and please leave a comment for me and thank you all so much for watching to my returning subscribers i owe you all in here in my heart i don't take you all for granted for you coming back always watching my videos i love you all so much so god bless you for watching i love you all so until next time bye